my name is Arnold, and today I'm going to show you how I made my Van de Graaff generator. So the first question I always get asked when I show people this or tell them about it is why in the hell would you build something like that? Why not? Um, I have an interest in science, I have an uh, interest in how things work, and so, and it was, it was fun. Uh, this is not a, a kit. I, I went out and got all the, the different parts and put it together. And it was sort of like putting together a puzzle, uh, a puzzle that shoots lightning. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, but the other reason is uh, I've always had an interest in electricity. And uh, I remember back, it was either eighth or ninth grade, uh, my high school science teacher, Harvey Atkinson, uh, introduced me to the Van de Graaff generator. Cord comes here and there is a, uh, a dimmer switch here that it goes into, which helps control the speed of the motor. Then that goes up to the, uh, the sewing machine motor. These two uh, prongs go to this. Now the ground goes, uh, actually I've, got, I've grounded the, uh, the dimmer switch uh, just for safety. And it, there's a wire here. And this runs uh, I, underneath, I've kind of burrowed into the, uh, this is just a, uh, a cutting board I got from Ikea. And I burrowed under and I've placed uh, basically just a regular uh, this green insulator, uh, or excuse me, grounding wire that you would get from Lowe's and uh, put that here. And this actually runs to uh, the bottom brush of the, uh, the Van de Graaff generator. And I'll go into more about the brushes in a moment. Uh, to attach the uh, motor to my bottom shaft, I had just have a piece of uh, tubing here. I mean, it's just, you know, what you would use for water or something like that. And that does a pretty good job here. This is just, I, I think, about a six-inch just bolt. I forget which diameter it is. And uh, on either side, I have some nylon washers. And uh, that does a pretty good job of, uh, of uh, keeping it nice and loose. And then I have a couple of bolts here that's kind of, I've locked together so that there's a little bit of play and it's not going to, screw it into itself. From the base here, uh, all of this is just ABS uh, sewer pipe fittings. Uh, all I could find were these uh, uh, two foot or, yeah, this is, this is two feet, right? Two feet uh, long pre-cut things. So that's what I went with. Um, I don't know, it works pretty well regardless. Uh, so let me take this apart and I'll show you a bit more. So you pull this off of here and uh, Underneath here, I've, I've drilled a hole here. This is just a, a piece of wire I got at Lowe's. I don't know what you call this, but it's got these multiple strands inside. And this makes my bottom brush. And I'm not going to explain how the brushes work or what they do, uh, but this uh, sticks down in here and I've bent it and positioned it. It's pretty easy to position. This is just a, uh, one of those uh, wire clamp things uh, that I've uh, fixed in here. And I put a little piece of plastic I glued in here so that I could attach that. And I mentioned the bolt. Uh, on that bolt, I have uh, basically it's just a bed caster. And um, that's uh, got a little bit of uh, nylon fabric uh, on it, a latex belt. And instead of uh, purchasing, uh, I thought about buying a Van de Graaff generator belt, uh, but uh, I was, again, on a budget. So what I did was I went to a sporting goods store and got some of those uh, latex exercise bands. And I used the heavy duty one. Uh, because I wanted it to hold up and also I wanted to be able to to make it as tight as possible because one of the things that makes a Van de Graaff generator work other than the triboelectric effect which you can look that up on your own is friction and so you need uh, some friction you can't have a loose belt on there so I wanted something that was going to be nice and stable and sturdy and strong so uh, I went for the heavy duty uh, exercise belt and it's uh, worked pretty well. As far as the top goes uh, the uh, spheres are just 11-inch IKEA bowls uh, that I got, which surprisingly were very hard to find. Apparently, there's a shortage of these things right now. Uh, so I actually, uh, I, luckily, I ordered them. Uh, they had, did have them online. And what I did was, uh, before I uh, put this on here, I cut just a tiny bit of the uh, ABS pipe off. I used the Dremel to cut a hole in the bottom here, and then I very painstakingly I uh, used a pair of pliers and bent in uh, the, the inside here so I didn't have any real sharp edges. Uh, unfortunately, when I did that, there was, you know, there's a, some points on here. Um, uh, but I, I think it's probably better than nothing. And then I just glued this uh, piece of this in here. And then uh, on the inside 
here, you see uh, I have the top brush, and there's more of that uh, cable that I was talking about, and I have it attached the exact same way. And so I have this here, and then I have a, a little uh, wire that runs in and is soldered into the, uh, the inside of this. And then uh, just use some electrical tape to, ta uh, to tape the, the two pieces together. The top part of it here is uh, just, uh, again, it's the same sort of principle as on the bottom, except up here I, I wanted this stationary, so I, I didn't have to worry about anything, you know, like that, the bolt actually turning. So I've got this nice and tight in here. I cut a, a, a groove in here so that I can adjust the height here because I want to keep the belt centered so that it will work properly. And if I found that that was the easiest way uh, to do that was just to be able to adjust this up and down. And in the top, it, again, it's just um, a bed caster. Uh, I took a, a piece of the, uh, I got some vinyl uh, at a fabric store and uh, roughed it up with some sandpaper. And then I glued this on here. Light charges when it repels, so you're building up a negative charge on the metal in these, uh, these cupcake of the uh, pie plates and they repel each other, and that's hopefully what's going to happen now. This is called lightning in a bottle, and I don't know exactly how it works. There are videos out there that, uh, that show you and tell you more about that. Uh, I'm going to do it once with a little bit of lighting here, and then I'll do it once with the lighting off. Uh, but you can build up a pretty good charge. Yeah, uh, you can build up a very good charge. Uh, if you're planning on doing this experiment, uh, be very careful because I've gotten zapped a few times with this thing. Basically, this bottle works as a capacitor, and uh, you don't get a lot of uh, current from the Van de Graaff generator, uh, but you can build up a lot of current in this bottle. So definitely be very careful if you're planning on doing this. Now, I'll try it once uh, with the, uh, I'll turn off the light here. Uh, just so you can kind of see. It builds up a pretty impressive spark. I'm standing on a plastic little stool, and so what's going to happen is I'm going to be holding on to this, and there will be a charge building up not only on this dome, but in my body as well. I will take on a negative charge. And so things that can move, such as the hair on my body, they will be charged as well, and they will want to move away from each other. I got this thing going. One interesting thing is if I touch ground, my hair goes down. And then I get charged up again, and I'm just touching the wall. a little uh, fluorescent bulb that you put in a chandelier. So there you have the Van de Graaff generator that I made. Enjoy making your own. Thanks for watching.